I'm Tawana Grover, Superintendent of Grand Island Public Schools. I'm here at Westridge Middle School where I am going to change shoes. I'm going to join the Westridge Middle School cafeteria staff as we kick off this series of Changing Shoes. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Oh, hi Mayor, so good to see you. Nice to have you here today with us. Yes, I'm ready to go to work. Good, I like the shoes, but we're going to have to change them. That's my favorite color though. So but you'll have to change into solid shoes and not high heels. I guess you're right, Miss Pam. I'm going to change my shoes. Get all the yucky out like this. Okay, out look of it. okay. There's always a lot of different things to uh, to do in the kitchen, I think. Like, what's your favorite part? Seeing the kids. I need to the kids fun. Yeah. yeah. So, so you get a chance to have some interaction with yeah. them when they come Which in. Which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. You have like a, a favorite story or memory or any oh. little kid, you're probably going to like point them out to me when they come, huh? Yeah, I can do that. I yeah. can do that. It's, it's pretty fun. They're awesome. Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad you have a chance to do that. It's just not about serving the kids, but nope. supporting them. You got to support them. Yeah. Like we had a child today that she's overdrawn in her account. I mean, they, they will always get a meal. They just can't have the seconds or anything like that. But I said, you know, I've always had money in my purse, and I always help out. That's just that's just normal, guys. It, it ha you have to. Those are the types of things that we don't really get a chance to know about, Miss Pam. So thank you for sharing it with me. We we all take turns doing it, and we all try to help out. You know, because we don't want that child to go without. You have to stop with these stories. I'm going to be crying over the lettuce. <laughs> that is just beautiful the way that you know the kids and yep. taking care of them. Probably the last time I was in the cafeteria was probably when I was in school, right? So a kid going through the line, getting the food, and you really never think about all the processes and procedures that go into making that happen. And there are a lot of systems, a lot of systems that this team that they have down pack, you know, a lot of things going on in the background, behind the scenes, uh, even before the food gets to the students. I was just so impressed with their attention to detail uh, just the way that they organize things. So like, okay, the chip rack, let's take the chip rack. So they have chips that the students can choose. And of course I'm thinking, this is easy. They say load up the chip rack. So I just started loading up the chip rack. And so Miss Pam is like, no, there's a certain way you have to put the spicy ones at the top because they love the spicy ones. And they're gonna go to those first. And you only put so many in a row and so many rows. And so I had to start that process over a couple of times. She was good. She, we talked about the lettuce because that was one of her first jobs. And she says, there is a lot of different pieces to it that are, are no good. And, and she said, we really have to look. And you do, in the lettuce you do. I, the chips was my, it was, I thought it was so fun with her, her and the chips. When I was working on the cash register, okay. I was like, am I gonna get fired? Uh, so the cash register was quite tricky. I was so impressed with the way that they were able to do it. I was just trying to find the right menu items on the screen. Um, and the kids, they're saying, hello, how are you today? And so just those personable interactions, I did not expect that. And so in, they're able to say, hey, how are you? How's your mom? And just very small moments, but deep moments. So it's just so much more than serving food. I want to make an impact on the kids because they're our future. They're going to take care of us and I want the kids to appreciate what they have and to acknowledge what they have. At the end of the day, every one of them in talking with them, they said that the best part of their job was working with the kids. Just from the moment I came in and changed out my shoes and just really start seeing just how much effort that they put into their work. I mean, I just almost started crying so many, so many different times. Um, I think sometimes we can take different jobs for granted and really not understand the value that they bring to the organization, but I have learned so much. I was scared of her at first. She's down to earth. She is. And she's willing to learn. You know, I always think about what my grandma used to say, that you can start to understand someone else's journey um, when you walk the mile in their shoes. And that's what I feel like today. Just watching their interactions with each other and with the kids is making me so proud of our staff members here in Grand Island Public Schools.